Hey, welcome to my new graphics engine devlog. So, yeah, I know it's been a long time since my last video. I think it was two years ago. And the reason for my absence was because I got a job as a graphics engineer. So, yeah, all this time I've been just working and also attending to college, uh, finishing my bachelor in computer engineering. And I'm very happy for that, especially because it's almost seven years that I've been attending to college, uh, which is like a long time and I can already see the end of this journey. So yeah, but this month I had some time to work on my personal project, uh, this engine called Loose Engine, which is a C++ and Vulkan based application. Um, I want it to be like a playground for me to study rendering techniques, so yeah. And now starting the devlog itself, uh, this is how my engine is looking currently. You can see that I add uh, support for AMGI docking, so I can move panels and dock them. I also add this panel for the viewport, uh, which I can resize and it work as expected. <laughs> Uh, I also have this profiler here. Uh, it's a very simple profiler just for GPU timings. Uh, by the way, these timings are in milliseconds. Yeah, I should add that somewhere here. <laughs> um, and uh, the other things are pretty much the same. I have the scene hierarchy here and also the inspector, the um, I'm gizmo to move stuff around. Uh, also have this deferred render uh, attachments visualization here. You can see all the atta attachments. And yeah, for the engine itself, it's pretty much it. And now going for a, uh, another change, more specifically in the source code, I add this Vulkan wrapper. So before that, I had a lot of files touching Vulkan API. So for example, here uh, uh, related to buffers, I had this buffer manager class to create and destroy and copy and yeah, manipulate uh, buffers, Vulkan buffers. And you can see here that I, uh, the input for to create a buffer, uh, for instance, uh, this buffer description struct here was still using Vulkan related stuff like uh, this VK device size and yeah, memory property flags. Uh, which means that uh, the Vulkan itself was not really abstracted. So in other parts of the engine, uh, anywhere that I needed to create a, a buffer, I would have to include a buffer uh, Vulkan Vulkan headers. Um, and I'm uh, honestly, this is very bad, especially if I want to add support for a different API like Direct DirectX. Um, yeah, it's uh, very, very bad. So what I did instead now is I add this Vulkan wrapper, uh, which is basically uh, an abstraction layer around Vulkan. Uh, it's a single header and C++ file. Uh, and they have uh, everything that I need to uh, 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 from Vulkan. So uh, everything is wrapped here, everything that I, I I would need to use from Vulkan is wrapped in, in this header file, like buffers, images, pipelines here, uh, and also the acceleration structure for uh, ray tracing. And, and of course I have the functions to create buffer, create everything, and also the comments here uh, related to the, yeah, the comment buffer. Um, and you can see here that the, the usage of this wrapper, this API becomes way simpler. Like I have here some pipelines and some images and to create them, yeah, yeah, it's only like a few lines of code. And then to use those things, it's, it's like even fewer like lines of code here. I only need some barriers and I begin rendering of course, I'm using uh, Vulkan dynamic rendering here. Uh, also, bind pipeline. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, everything from Vulkan is abstracted here. Um, everything that I need, of course. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, and then if I ever want to add support for a different API like DirectX, I just need to add a different implementation and I can keep the same uh, interface for uh, the same structures here. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this took uh, some good weeks. I think I was working on that for like three weeks to make this wrapper. And yeah, it wasn't like a, a lot of uh, lines of uh, code changed. Uh, but I think it was worth, uh, like it's way easier to, to use uh, Vulkan with something like a, a wrapper like this. Yeah, and about the next thing that I'm working on is I want to add an asset manager and serializer uh, because right now if I change the scene, like if I copy this object here and yeah, give it another color, uh, I don't have a way to save the scene. So if I close my engine and run it again, um it's not start so yeah um this is very annoying if you want to create like a test scene of course like it's a requirement to have a way to serialize uh the scene and that's it uh if you like this project and want to check the source code uh there's a link in the description to the github page there's a few like um animations here uh which i should update soon uh, but yeah uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching